he has all the trappings of Prime Minister, including access to the office. But the new Prime Minister, Mahinda Rajapaksa, is acting unconstitutionally, his critics say, because he was appointed by President Maithripala Sirisena and not elected by members of parliament. Good morning, Mr Rajapaksa. Good morning. How are you, sir? Fine, thank you. Nice to see you. Is your appointment legitimate, you think, sir? Or? Yes, it's according to the constitution. It's perfect. The argument is that parliament should be deciding who's the prime minister, not, uh, no, not the no, president. No, no, no. Uh, Read the constitution. Then you will find out. And so your immediate plans, sir, for uh, now you're assuming the Prime Minister's position? I have already taken over the office now. <laughs> Rajapaksa needs the backing of 113 MPs to solidify his return to power. But the President suspended Parliament. Some suspect he did that to give Rajapaksa time to get enough support. How will you get enough uh, support from Parliament? How will you get the no, MPs you need? We have already got the 130. Yeah, sure. And so why the delay in recalling Parliament? What are we hanging on for? No, because we want to get ready for the budget. Rajapaksa was at the Prime Minister's office to meet academics, telling them there's no crisis as far as he's concerned. It certainly is a crisis for the ousted Prime Minister, Ranil Wickremesinghe. He's refusing to leave the official residence of the PM. He says he remains Prime Minister because the power to sack him was stripped from the President two years ago by an amendment to the Constitution. The whole structure of government in the country is still very strongly executive friendly. And the presumption is, is that the presidency is the strongest office, even though the 19th Amendment has made changes uh, to that. And therefore what the President seems to say goes. Rajapaksa served two terms as president, defeated Tamil separatists in a 26-year-long civil war, but was accused of human rights abuses in the process. His family and inner circle is under investigation for corruption. And are you looking forward to, uh, to your new position, so you're looking forward to being prime minister? Very much. Very much, very much. Why not? Uh... <laughs> Mahinda Rajapaksa is presenting an image of business as usual, but with Ranil Wickremesinghe still claiming to be the legitimate prime minister, things are far from usual. Parliament will, though, now get to have the final say, it seems, when it's soon recalled and MPs get to vote. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Colombo.